here. Uh, looks like a four cylinder 800. It's the ADI ignition. Yeah, it had to be uh, sometime before 1984 because it had the trim cylinders right here on the side. But it's definitely no Daisy. As you can see, everything's corroded. It has the Merc carbs in it. Uh, I'm not really a fan of the Merc carbs. I like the Talatsons and the WMKs myself. But she ain't no Daisy. I mean, all this is going to have to be replaced. The stator. I mean, I'm not even sure if there's any life left in this engine. It was pretty much just left to die if it's not already dead. A lot of corrosion. You can see it was ran in salt water. Um, so what I'm going to do first is do a compression test just to see if anything is left left on the inside. Uh, well, I guess first I got to see if the starter will work. So that definitely does not work. So, all right. So I'm going to have to hook up a solenoid and just see if I can get it to spin. All right, so I got everything everything hooked up. And what I did was I just totally bypassed the harness because that harness has definitely seen better days, but I just ran the cables directly down. Just ran the 12 volts into this fresh solenoid here, which is gonna jump to here. And then I grounded it right here on the starter just to see if I can get a compression reading. Um, so that solenoid is definitely not doing anything. I'm gonna go ahead and take out these uh, spark plugs get ready for a compression test so we'll see what happens oh and by the way if you pick up a used outboard and it has auto lights in it then more than likely the owner does not care about their engine this has been my past experience usually you'll see some champions or some ngks in there but the auto lights these are like the cheapest of the cheap you know what i mean and every single one is an auto light so <laughs> all right enough judging let's get this thing rolling all right got everything set up Compression gauge is in. All right, let's see what we're working with here. Yeah, not too shabby. One thirty-five. Hope for this engine after all. All right, it's on cylinder number two. to number four. Four can be kind of a pain. You gotta wiggle this thing down there and snake it in. I'll try to do it without making myself look like a fool. Number four, big money. All right, we got about 
one, 143, 142. All right, again. All right, about 143. All right, so we're gonna go back to Number one, just to verify, number one was the 138. Not sure if that's going to be a problem. I guess mm, that's close. Some big money going on. All right, there we go. All right, that's about 141, 142. Five PSI difference. Maybe this just needs to loosen up a little bit. One forty-three. We got one, one forty-three, one forty-seven, one fifty-three, one forty-three. So this block is good. Maybe this lower unit is good. That's about it. All right. So we got the compression test in. Uh, the block is definitely healthy. Uh, the lower unit, I mean, it's seen better days, but it, you know, that, that can definitely be salvageable. So now we just gotta make the decision if we're gonna replace all these, all these electronics, solenoid, internal harness, rebuild the carburetors in there, which again are the W, the Mercarbs, they're not the WMKs. I don't really like those. And then I gotta go through, individually test each of these coils to make sure that they're putting out putting out the correct resistance. Um, so I'm gonna make that decision and uh, we're gonna see what happens. Thanks for watching.